Well, the fire keeps burning for Disney. I got some updates to a few of the things going on right now. But I wanted to start off with this. As you know, there are a lot of layoffs about to hit Disney. 7,000 of them, actually. And these are big positions. This isn't low-level employees. These are, these are big wigs. People that cost a lot of money to keep around. Well, the email, of course, got leaked. You sent it to 7,000 people or however many people. I'm guessing a lot more than that got this email. A couple of them are going to leak this out. So this has been making the rounds. Dear fellow employees, as I shared with you in February, we have made the difficult decision to reduce our overall workforce by approximately 7,000 jobs as part of a strategic realignment of the company, including important cost-saving measures necessary for creating a more effective, coordinated, and stream. Lined approach to our business over the past few months. Senior leaders have been working closely with HR to access their operational needs, and I want to give you an update of those efforts. And I'm not going to read all of this, but if you want to pause and read it, you can see it. And then there's one more piece to this right here. That's it. So that's your Dear John letter if you work for Disney. And, well, Disney put themselves in this position with all of the garbage that they've made, and they're going to keep making more. If you missed my video that I put out last night, and you might have because there was no notification for it, uh, they just keep on keeping on. There's a new X-Files remake coming. The difference, well, this one has a diverse audience. So, oh, no, a diverse cast. Well, that's the difference between that and the original. Amazing. A reason to tune in. But they keep doing that. The other drama going on for Disney is, of course, Jonathan Majors and Victoria Alonzo. Now, there hasn't been any new developments in the Jonathan Majors stuff. So I'm not going to touch on that other, other than say, watch the previous videos that I've made. It's a very complicated situation. And I have a lot of questions. And I don't know if the man should be thrown under the bus like people are doing. A lot of people are celebrating his demise just because he works for Disney. And, I mean, come on, this is a man's life and livelihood here. I think that there's enough evidence out there that questions should be discussed and raised about the woman that is apparently getting him in all this trouble. She's recanted her statements and... Apparently, he called the cops on her, and there's video footage of the taxi driver and witness statements saying that she's crazy. So, I've learned enough from watching Johnny Depp and a few other cases that we shouldn't be quick to throw people under the bus. But Victoria Alonzo should be thrown under the bus. She's a horrible, woke activist. Part of the reason why Disney is in the problems that they have right now is because of people like her that are in there trying to turn the company into a propaganda activist machine. Kevin Feige included. Look at those crazy eyes on old Kevin now. He's, there, there's clear differences in how he, his eyes looked back in the day and how he looks now because he's woke. So a lot of drama going on with her. They fired her. Fired her. Didn't give her a golden parachute. So she's, of course, suing. Well, she's not suing yet, but she's going to burn this company to the ground, and it's already begun. It's already begun. This came out while I was sleeping. Ant-Man 3 Marvel removed gay imagery to avoid ban. Shocking. I'm not shocked by this at all because Disney is a bunch of hypocrites. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that they removed this imagery. What imagery did they re- they remove? By the way, well, it's a blink if you and you'll miss it. Pride flag in a window, or it's some big poster that said Pride or some shit. It's a blink if you miss it thing. THR noted that insiders believe this reprehensible act was a request by Kuwait 
to censor gay pride references in Quantum Mania. The situation occurred in January when Marvel executives went to an editor to blur out a storefront window that featured the word pride and rainbow decorations. This set piece made it into two brief scenes with Paul Rudd, Scott Lang character on a San Francisco street. Blink and you'll miss it representation, which Disney loves to do. Now, what I find funny about this is these brain dead people that, that support this low effort bullshit. It pleases them. Oh, well, uh, they, they had two women kiss in rise of Skywalker. And if you blinked, you'll miss it, but that's enough. Even though they deleted that out of scenes, out of countries that don't want that, that scene got deleted. They're okay with that. It shows you how stupid these people are. And then they're not, they don't call Disney hypocrites either. Uh, There's some of the, the most vapid people I think out there, but what does this have to do with Victoria Alonzo? Well, one, she's exposing that this got done in the first place. Two, they asked her to do it. Apparently. (laughs) <laughs> and you've course she's a gay woman. So they asked an LBGT woman to supervise the deletion of LBGT representation in the movie. Now people will be mad at th- about this for about five minutes and then they'll move on because Disney will just, I don't know, they'll, They'll make uh, somebody polyamorous in their next movie, and people will forget about everything that's happening here. But this is a great example of just how shitty this company is and just how they, they, don't, they don't believe in any of the bullshit that they push. They don't believe in any of it. It's all pander. There's no integrity behind any of it. But nobody cares. None of these activists give a shit that it's all fake. That's, that's what makes them hypocrites and just awful people. A new report from Hollywood Reporter has revealed that Marvel Studios removed gay imagery. Uh, this new tidbit came in reference to the recent firing of Marvel Studios executive Victoria Alonzo. So they removed that stuff. And they had Victoria, a gay Latina who had the courage to criticize Disney, was silenced. She was then terminated when she refused to do something she believed was reprehensible. What was that that was reprehensible? It's that they wanted her to supervise the removal of those window decorations in Quantumania. Why is that? Well, because she oversees visual effects. Alonzo, who oversaw visual effects in post-production at Marvel Studios and is gay herself, refused to make her team make the edit. Marvel then went to an outside vendor to get the changes done. Kuwait... Also had other changes made to the film, including the removal of several references to alcohol and even the animated butt sheets of the character Modoc. So, will this blow up in Disney's face? Probably not. Why? Well, Disney owns ABC. What is ABC? It's a news channel. Well, it's a brand, but there are several news outlets in that brand. They also own a couple of other things besides ABC. So they can kind of control their own narrative. This is the problem with with news in general, but it won't blow up in their face. They can do plenty of damage control. Now, I would imagine Victoria is going to keep burning them. Who knows if this even happened, to be honest. This should just be her making shit up. But I tend to believe it because this is totally something Disney would do. It totally is. They'll put some shit in a movie talk about how woke they are, and then they'll run around and edit that out of any country that tells them to. They don't stick to their guns. They don't stick to their principle. They don't have any integrity. I'd have more respect for them if they just didn't release these things in these countries, but they don't do that because at the end of the day, it's all about money, and they believe being woke will make them money. That's why they've been doing so much of it. It's not making them money, clearly. I mean, they've, they've lost a lot of money, especially this year. Anyway, I don't know. I thought this was funny. So, like, I wonder if this will blow up and become a big thing because 
this should tick off woke Twitter, especially that they made an LBGT woman. Well, at least tried to get her go to go and supervise the removal of stuff that she supports. It's interesting. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.